What up guys, it's your man Melvin Taylor. I, I back here on YouTube once again. So I know I've been going for a little bit, but me and some of my comedic friends got together and said, hey, there are a lot of news stories that are going around that are kind of funny that we also want to talk to you guys about. So here's what's been on our mind this past week. Our first episode begins with the sexiest letters in the English alphabet that got everybody and their daddy hot and bothered this past week. No, I'm not talking about WAP, but I am talking about the USPS. President Trump recently stated that the USPS will not be able to handle the influx of mail-in ballots they'll be receiving this November. It's a little bit hypocritical since some insiders can also say that he isn't handling triple-decker Big Macs the same way he used to. While referencing the organization, what he failed to acknowledge were the July protocols that have been causing such a slowdown in the mail being delivered. Now, I already know what you're thinking. Melvin, why in the world should I care about these July protocols when I already know what's on Trump's to-do list? Let's see. Do some racist, undermine democracy in a brand new way, repeat. But I promise you, it's really important. These protocols talk a lot about time. You know, time. That thing that we all used to have and enjoy before we sat in front of our computers all day in nothing but our pajamas. It says, all trips must depart on time. All cares must leave on time. All cares must arrive on time. But on time is being prioritized over the mail being actually delivered to the people that need it. That'd be like me showing up on Valentine's Day for a day on time, but with no card, no flowers, and no actual day. Valentine's Day 2016 was rough. The USPS processes 472.1 million pieces of mail a day, or as any BTS fan mail account may call it, a light day. Items left behind can leave a bottleneck in the mail delivery system, and of course, half of these items actually are Spectrum promotional pieces. As New York continues on, the memo even states that temporarily you will see mail left behind or on the mailroom floor, which isn't typical. And that's not okay. That's like me telling my roommate, hey, we're changing the dishwashing protocol and during this period of transition, you may see more dirty dishes left in the sink. Only three things can happen from that. We're gonna argue, we're gonna fight, or you need to move immediately. I've lived in a pre-war apartment here in New York. If somebody's leaving dirty dishes around, move immediately. The question is how temporary is temporarily? Letter carriers are now having to sort through bins of mail themselves. Those same bins of mail that would typically be ready for delivery are now being pushed back due to route changes, time changes, and I did not start the dishwasher on time. Word to the cicadas, I guess I'll do it as soon as this episode is over with. Now, these protocols have been instated by the newly appointed Postmaster General and winner of the Best Smile with No Upper Lip Contest, Louis DeJoy. Do I really need to say anything more? DeJoy, who started this position in June, and unlike previous postmaster generals of the 1750s, I promise Britain my accent will get better. He is not a former USPS employee, but what he is instead is a GOP supporter, Trump fundraiser, and a former CEO of XPO Logistics. Can you think of anything more bland than a Trump supporter that is a former CEO of a logistics company? He's like a real life what we do in the shadows energy vampire. You know, Synergy can really save time on the MAGA supply chain. Democrats see this as political since millions of Americans will need to vote by mail, thus forcing them to go and vote in person. To confirm this, Trump unveiled his new take on Diddy's campaign slogan, Vote and Die. Trump isn't the only one concerned. American Post Workers Union President and guy you least want to have your back in a fight, Mark Demonstein, also warned that the USPS will not be able to handle these influx of mail-in ballots this November. Don't worry, Mark. I got this. Demonstein then added that to handle all of this, the USPS will require emergency COVID-19 funding due to the influx of mail-in ballots they'd be receiving. That's literally blackmail. He's legitimately telling us, if y'all don't give us some money, <laughs> good luck these next four years. But lucky for all of us, the Treasury Department did find some money and gave the USPS about $10 billion. But when you really think about it, that's not that much considering they haven't received any tax dollars since 1982. For all my Bulls and Last Dance fans out there, that's two years before Jordan was drafted. And when you look at it even further, it really ain't that much since they haven't been able to set their own prices since 2006. For any of my Bulls fans that are still watching, that's the same year that Tyrus Thomas was drafted. But hey, you know, not being in control of your finances for about 15 years, it ain't that bad, right? Just ask Britney Spears. That's really a rabbit hole that I encourage you to go down when you get some time. Like, we really need to check on Britney Spears.
Like, we really need to check on Britney Spears. Hashtag free Britney, by the way. Look, we know that mail-in voting has been and is extremely safe. However, he's using these new protocols like there's some white people's racial fears. He claims that any slowdown in the mail-in ballot process will undermine the entire legitimacy of the November 3rd election. We really know what this is about. Him starting to do this now will make sure that it deters a lot of people from going to vote at all. Look, if you take nothing away from this video, nothing away except this at all, please put the pressure on your politicians to do something and save the post office. If they don't, we have an entire list of things that we know he will do on time.